I'll be revealing the viral ad creation strategy I used that has allowed me to generate almost $8 million just in the last year alone on one of my dropshipping stores, as you can see over here. Now, with dropshipping, you might already be aware that you first need to find a good product to sell, build a store, and market the product. But one thing that's really important is how you structure your ad videos when it comes to the marketing part. Because without a great ad, you will not get any sales. It doesn't matter how good of a product or store you have. And I will guide you on how to edit and create converting ad videos for Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok ads. Let's dive in. So before we begin, I want you to understand that the first step in creating a successful ad video is to showcase your product effectively. That means that people who see your video needs to instantly understand what you're selling and why they need it. Because remember, no matter what business you're running, when it comes to promoting content on social media, the content being promoted is shown in front of people who are not looking for something to buy. Their intention is to scroll around and consume content for entertainment. So, the three most important things you need to look after in ad videos is a great hook in the beginning, fast paced and quick explaining. I will show you an example of a great ad that uses this. This ad of a cat litter scooper is being sold for $35 by a dropshipping store. Let's watch the ad. So from the first second of this ad, they displayed the full product and showed it in action. And the video itself is very fast paced. Why? Because people's attention span nowadays is extremely short. And the person behind this store understands it. You want the viewer hooked throughout the whole video. This ad was also successful because they launched it on the 6th of January and I've already scaled it to over 5 million views, 1000 shares and almost 2000 comments, which means that they are profitable. I'm seeing these statistics from dropship.io. Now I will go ahead and show you one more example. And as you continue watching this video, you will start seeing some interesting patterns in these ads. For this one, I will just play the ad for you and have you guess what product this is. You can clearly see that this is a custom paint kit because of how good they structured the ad video. And again, if I go back to the beginning of this ad, you will notice that at the beginning they displayed the full product, changed the clips many times to really grab the viewer's attention, and then they showed how it works by even using markers to help navigate the viewer understand what it is. They used the same structure as the previous ad I showed you. And this ad has over 15 million views with a lot of engagement as well. What I would personally do with both of these ads is to put a call to action at the end where it just says shop now with a plain text or let them know that there's a sale going on at the moment. So now that you have an understanding of how successful ads are structured, they are honestly really straightforward. You just have to grab the viewer's attention really fast and make your videos entertaining that in a way it blends in with the rest of the videos on the social media platform. You should also aim to show the product you're selling directly in the hook, or it will be even better if you can showcase a benefit of owning the product in the hook. So the viewer quickly gets an understanding in what way owning the product will help improve their life or make it easier. Now that's for the hook. And for the rest of the video, try to include more benefits. And it's also very important to keep the video fast paced and always try to use original clips. And with that, I mean clips that you have recorded on your own, because Facebook and many other platforms out there have systems in place to detect if a clip is original or not. These systems help them reward advertisers that create original content with cheaper CPMs, because the goals of these platforms are to always deliver the best user experience for their users, and a major part of that is the rotation of content. They do not want their users to keep seeing the same content again and again. So if you can, use original content for the ads. It makes a huge difference, believe me. I have tested that myself with a lot of different products and I found out that oftentimes an original video is the difference between a winning product or a dead product during my testing phase. 
And for original content, you need to of course already have a product and store built in order to begin with the ad creation part. Just order the product from Amazon with next day delivery and create original content with it. You can use your phone camera for the recording. But if you're on a low budget or don't have any good environment you can record on, then the best option would be to find content for your product on the internet and put it together. It's honestly not so ideal, but you can still do it in the beginning to get some sales, then later on do an upgrade. Now I'll walk you through on how to find footage and put them together. Let's begin. Quick disclaimer before I start, everything I will show you from now on and download in this video is for educational and demonstrational purposes only. When it comes to using other creators footage for advertising, you need to get permission from them. Otherwise, you may be subject for copyright infringement and I'm not responsible for that. That's why I strongly recommend you to order the product home and record your own footage with it. It will just make things so much easier. What I will show you now is video ads. I've already found a product that I find interesting. It's this portable mini iron, and I'll show you a quick glimpse of this product to get an understanding what it's all about. Okay, so you can clearly see that it solves a problem because it's a portable iron, and many will find it helpful especially when they travel. So what I would do if I don't have the product in my hands right now to record a video ad is to go to YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, Aliexpress, and Alibaba. Just search for the product name to see what content there is out there for the product that I can take clips from to put in my ad video. Most of the time, you will find enough content on YouTube, but it's good to check the other platforms as well. So here on YouTube, I'll write Mini Portable Garment Steamer, which is the name of the product. And already on the first page, we can see that there's content of the exact same product. If you search for your product name and don't find any content, try to use other keywords or go to any of the other platforms. Anyway, let's quickly view this YouTube short because the thumbnail caught my attention. I would just stop here. You can see from the first 3 seconds, they instantly show the product and what it does. This is a great scroll stopper and I will definitely use it. Let's continue. There are some more clips here that I'll be able to use, so I'll go ahead and keep this YouTube short tab open. Also, you might be wondering how long your hook in your ad video should be, how long the ad video should be, and so on. Well, here's the video timeline formula I always go after when I create a new ad. I usually only do ads that are anywhere from 25 to 30 seconds max. More than that is not necessary, because if you have a great product, it doesn't require anything more than that to explain and sell it. In the first 3 to 4 seconds is the hook. Then for about 7 seconds, I quickly go over the product and explain it. The 10 seconds after that, I showcase the benefits of owning the product. And lastly, the remaining 5 seconds is used as a call to action to the website. That's the structure I go with. And of course, in between these points, I change the clips many times to keep the video fast paced and entertaining. I'll go back to YouTube now and continue finding content for the product and update you when I have enough clips for the ad. Okay, so I've been searching around for about 15 minutes now and I honestly didn't find any new content on YouTube. So I went to Pinterest and AliExpress. And there I found a bunch of content. What I will do now is download all of these videos and then put them in an editing app to create the ad. For each platform, you'll need to find its own video downloader. For example, YouTube Shorts. I'll copy this video link, go to Google, search YouTube Shorts downloader, and find one that I can download this video with. This one looks promising. So I'll go ahead and paste the link here and download this. And you will need to repeat the exact same procedure with the other platforms. I'll go ahead and speed this up. I am done now downloading all of these videos, which means that we're ready to start putting everything together to create the ad. For this, you will need an editing app. There are many out there like Premiere Pro, Vegas Pro, Final Cut Pro, but I will use a free one called Canva. It works just fine as the rest because this type of videos don't require much editing and they're not advanced at all. After you have signed in, up here create a design. Custom size and set the width and height at 1080. Lock it and press create new design. This will be the size of your ad, which is the industry standard for ads. 
Over here you have the frame and this is where you will do all the work. To begin we need to put all the content in the timeline. To do that go to uploads, videos and here upload all the videos that you have downloaded. I will just quickly upload mine. Ok we are ready now. As I mentioned earlier the video structure is simple. I keep my videos anywhere from 25 to 30 seconds max. The beginning is the hook. Then we explain the product, show benefits and a call to action at the end. That's the formula. You can hover your mouse over the videos you've uploaded to have it autoplay. It will make it easier for you to understand which video you should put in the timeline first. In my case, this is the video I will use. So I will drag it in the timeline over here and expand it from this arrow to have a better visual. Now that the video is in the timeline, you need to make sure that it's cropped and centered properly. You can do it from the scrub button over here and change the position of it. You will need to do this for every video you put in to ensure that everything is centered. Once you are done, you need to chop it up. This video is 17 seconds long and I just need the first 3 seconds of this video for the hook. Just go to the scissors icon and drag from either the left or the right side the amount of content you need. And it will cut once you press done. So if I preview this video now, this will be my hook. It shows the product and the solution all within 3 seconds. So this is perfect. I'll go back to uploads now and repeat the exact same process with different videos with a speed up. I've chopped up all the clips now and put them together. So this is just the clips. I'll go ahead and also add a call to action at the end that says shop now. To do that, press the plus icon, add a text box and write the call to action. I'll make the font size 70 and add a dissolve transition to make it look smoother. The add structure is now done. Let's watch it. You can clearly see that this structure just works. The only thing I do not like about this is that the resolution of the actual footage is not the highest. And that's the price you need to pay if you're gonna go with this route. That's why I advise you to record your own content. But either way, this will still work for dropshipping. The only things left now before we finish this up is a watermark of your store name, subtitles to explain the product better, and background music. To add a watermark, go to text, add a text box, make the font size 32, write your store name in this format, center it, then go up to transparency and make it 50%. I always do this on my ads to make it harder for other dropshippers to steal it and reuse it. After you have done this, press Ctrl C if you are on Windows or Command C if you are on Mac to copy the text. Then go to the rest of the clips and paste the text on them too by pressing Ctrl V or Command V if you are on Mac. The watermark part is now done and it's time for the subtitles. Go to text, add text box, make the font size 32 and drag it down here. Then effects, background, roundness at 0 and you can play with the transparency and color. I will personally just go with blue. Now I will go ahead and add text throughout the whole video now. This is a very important step because you need to take advantage of the subtitles to further sell the product. For the hook, I will go with something like, this is the ultimate solution to quick and convenient ironing. This came at the top of my head, but you can also use ChatGPT to help you out on this, or see what your competitors are writing and write something similar from their ads. I will copy the subtitle now paste it on all the clips and write the text. So I'll update you once I'm done. Great, I've put subtitles throughout the whole video now and the only thing left is the background music. Now I'll not add any music because I'll not actually launch this ad. This is just a demonstration on how to set up and structure it. But you will definitely need to add some background music if you plan launching an ad. And you can do it by going to elements, scroll down to the audio section and press see all. Make sure the music you pick is free to use. Anyway, let's go ahead and watch the ad.
Alright, that was it for the ad creation part. This is exactly how I would find footage if I don't have original content and put it together with the editing app. And make sure to create multiple versions of the ad so you can split test them and see which one would perform the best. Now if you would have any questions or need help with anything, please know that I'm here for you. Just leave a comment down below and I'll get back. Also if you would like to see any other dropshipping videos, make sure to specify it in your comment. Other than that, I hope I was able to give you a clear understanding on how dropshipping ad creatives are structured and how to put them together. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more valuable content. Take care for now.